Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on Halo Infinite Season 2 using the GTX 1050 Ti. We're we'll running a Ryzen 3700X with 32 gigabytes of RAM running at 3200 megabytes. Alright, jumping into the settings, we're going to be running the game at 1080p on the low settings. Async compute enabled, and one more thing. Uh, the high resolution textures are also disabled, so should be easy to run. All right, let's go. First game. Enemy lives depleted. I normally start off with a CP test, but probably not going to be doing that here. But I've already gone ahead and tested it out with 3700X, and we get, and the game surprisingly uses up all eight cores. You rarely see games actually take advantage of the extra cores, but this game does. We gained with two cores and four threads we're sitting at like 90 fps that was our maximum and all cores are fully maxed out and four cores gave us like 110 fps oh okay we're finished uh 100 fps six cores gave us another five to ten fps again and eight cores gave us the lowest amount increase which was like five i think five to seven in certain situations we've got this in the bag eh? but for a 10 to ti that doesn't really apply here since we're only getting 40 fps on low settings so you can pretty much use any any newish cpu and it'll be fine all right talking about the actual frame rate of the game 40 fps is pretty decent nothing special obviously but trying to aim isn't too harsh i'm so trapped between like four people right now when there's a lot of particles oh, okay i'm kind of lagging i'm gonna run 170 ping on the server so Gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, 40 FPS isn't too bad. Honestly, it's pretty decent. As long as you don't make too many fast, uh, fast-paced moves. And normally, I would say playing at 900p would we'll fix our FPS issues and we'll still keep some of the quality. But I think with this game, we might have to play at 720p just to get 60 FPS. And even then, I don't know if it's possible. I'm dead. Overshield available. Nice. All right, second game. Playing the game at 900p now, and the hand. game doesn't look all that much different, to be honest. It looks very good. The frame rate is not too different either. We're getting 50 FPS instead of like 40, 45. So five to 10 FPS increase, which is kind of surprising. Normally, with a 1050 Ti, we get a pretty good increase in our performance when we drop it down to 900p while keeping the visual quality up, but Halo is too demanding, I guess. VRAM is sitting at 3.7, so it's very close to our limit as well. So we're pretty much stuck to playing on low settings. Also, one more thing, I got put into a 200 ping lobby, so if I play bad, it ain't my fault, I swear. And these people are crushing us. Nate spams. Honestly, this frame rate is so similar to 1080p that it's not even worth thinking about playing another pair. It's just what's hitting me? Grenades just hitting me around the corner. Nice. Active camo inbound. I wanna be careful here. I don't wanna die because I'm not fast enough at reacting. Active oh dude, one more thing. I just realized. Last night I went to record this video and I couldn't because leave my room for like five minutes come back in whole pieces frozen up and i restarted and it doesn't boot again it ended up being uh, a ram issue ram overclocking issue which i think is a known thing for b4550 motherboards but yeah that incident freaked me out i thought <clears throat> i thought my computer got emp or something the cpu stopped working and then the ram stopped working and out of nowhere as well it's not a good sign but I hope it's just, uh, I think it's just a motherboard thing, hopefully, and not CPU or RAM, because those are, those are expensive. We're running the game at 767p, so close enough to 720p now. It's as low as it can go. Wow, 65 FPS, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. This is, whoa, can we not lag, please? I guess my internet's having issues. I thought it was going the game, but definitely not when I'm probably banding everywhere. Oh, this will be fun. Honestly, 720p. 
looks more like 900p in this game. How am I alive? How was I alive there? It runs really well so far right now. I gotta say, it's way more smooth than playing 45 FPS, as you would as you would expect, I guess. Really nice. And it honestly looks really good as well. No, I jumped into his nade. You, sir, stole my kill. You saved my life, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, one more thing. Can't enable NIS for this game since it is running in borderless window. Do you can't put it in full screen? I believe. I remember trying it before and it wouldn't work. So I normally would enable NIS for this game, but oh But this game you just can't. Sometimes you say it doesn't work for, but most it does. How did I win that with 200 ping? Just keep in mind that the game is running at the game's using up 10 gigs of RAM almost. So if you're running 8 gigs, you might be running into a little bit of a, a performance issue. But that might not happen. Just something to keep in mind. Thank you, teammates. Oh, playing much better at this FPS range for sure. And visibility isn't actually affected at all. To be honest, you can, I can see just as well as 1080p. I think we'll wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like and a subscription would be highly appreciated. See you next time.